If you're feeling anxious at just the thought of driving, chances are getting on the freeway is enough to tip you into a full-blown panic attack. You're not alone, and there is help, so listen up. Anxiety while driving is way more common than you might realize. If you're suffering with this debilitating condition, this video is going to give you some strategies you can start implementing immediately to overcome your problem once and for all. So let's get started with some tips that will alleviate the anxiety while driving one step at a time. Now first, you want to recognize the root cause of this problem. Recognizing the root cause of your fear is really the first step to overcoming your problem. And driving anxiety can originate from a multitude of places. You, know, you have to ask yourself certain questions. Have you ever been in a bad car accident or experienced a traumatic experience or a traumatic event in the car? Is your generalized anxiety giving you overwhelming fears of death? Do you have claustrophobia or tendencies to feel trapped in the confined space of your car? Have you ever known someone close to you who also suffered from this debilitating condition? Uh, were you deeply affected by someone who died in a car accident? And you should also ask yourself, you know, when this anxiety originated, when it started. And these are just some of the questions you, know, you should be asking yourself when you get into the car and that terrible fear takes hold of you. And you want to rationalize your feelings by recognizing their origin. And although this tactic won't stop your driving anxiety, it's going to poise you to start treating it. And that's because understanding the root cause of your fear puts the problem in perspective. You recognize that it's an irrational anxiety and that it can be stopped with treatment. So anxiety while driving, it's really just an illusion that you've created for yourself with you know, this preconceived notion that it's dangerous in the car. And it's all based on superstition and your own habitual behavior. Anyway, that's, that's the theory of it. Your fear, as you probably already know, is much more tangible. So after taking note of your fear and feeling those feelings that overwhelm you, make a pact with yourself that you won't let fear steer the direction of your behavior. You should choose to run towards what you want in life. Don't run away from what scares you. Do you recognize the primary difference between those two scenarios? When you move towards your desires, you're taking action. And when you run away from what scares you, you're reacting, and irrationally as well. So take control and make the decision to overcome your driving anxiety. Make this commitment a first priority, and make it the first step towards realistically attaining this goal. You know, Put it down on paper. Tell your friends and family that you've set this goal for yourself. You're going to accept responsibility for your efforts to improve your anxiety every day. If you don't, chances are the moment that fear takes hold, you'll give up and you'll just kind of forget about it. You'll accept this problem and accept the fact that you'll never have the freedom of getting in your car and going wherever you want to go. Overcoming the panic is a crucial strategy that you need to take. You need to have tactics that actually work. And when you get in that car and the panic hits, it's going to strike fast and furious. So you want to have a plan and learn anxiety tactics that work. And the very first sensation that's going to hit you, or that probably hits you, is a feeling of not being able to breathe comfortably. You probably have trouble swallowing as well when you get that car anxiety, that driving anxiety. Taking natural breaths becomes difficult, and you may feel kind of claustrophobic in the car. You may also feel like you're dying or trapped in your car. And the list of symptoms goes on and on, but learning the the right breathing exercises is a great way to prepare you for when the panic hits and it's going to be your best ally at plowing through the panic and building up a tolerance to the driving anxiety. So when you act and take action uh, by engaging in these breathing exercises, you're going to be changing your focus from the fear that you're feeling to your breathing. And you're going to start by inhaling deeply through your nose for four seconds and exhaling out your mouth for the next four seconds. And you want to feel your diaphragm pushing your stomach outward as you breathe in and pushing inward as you exhale through your mouth. And you want to really be methodical with your breaths. Don't rush them. Hyperventilation is a common symptom when driving anxiety hits. So this exercise will take control of your physical symptoms and allow you to calm your panic away. And the other idea of breathing 
like I said, is to change your focus. If you feel like you can't swallow, it's only going to feel more uncomfortable by thinking about it. You know, swallowing is an involuntary muscle reflex. So, of course, it's going to be harder to do if you're actually concentrating on the muscles in your throat. Focus on what you can control, your breath, and let this exercise calm you and give you the satisfaction of knowing you're doing something actively to stop the panic. You want to get out of your comfort zone. When it comes to overcoming your anxiety while you're driving, don't think of it as turning off a light switch to make the anxiety effectively disappear. Instead, you want to think of the process as wearing down your sensitivity to the fear until you're numb to the experience altogether and driving just sort of becomes a mundane activity. And there's a couple of factors that come into play here. First, when you're driving, you're usually moving away from your home, which, you know, to most people is a place of comfort. And this activity alone is something that may give you anxiety. So that's just one thing to keep in mind, you know, one reason why maybe you're feeling the way you're feeling. Um, you know, you also want to take baby steps when you get out of your comfort zone. Start small, work your way up. You want to start by driving around the block or even, uh, you know, a nearby empty parking lot. Work your way up to driving casually around the neighborhood or, you know, on short errands. And as time goes on, try to make the trips longer and longer until you eventually take your progress up to the highway driving. And, you know, for most people, that's the tough part. Also, you want to try to make your car as comfortable as possible. You know, make the temperature perfect with climate control. Have relaxing fragrances in the car if that makes the experience more enjoyable for you. Car fragrances help you take advantage of another anxiety-fighting tactic, which is aromatherapy. Also, music is a great way to take the attention off your fear. You know, play your favorite CD or iPod playlist. Enjoy yourself. You know, who knows? If you pamper yourself enough in your car, you may actually start looking forward to the longer trips. And the most common complaint about anxiety while driving is, of course, driving on the freeway. Uh, you know, the higher speeds and increased traffic can really be a huge hurdle for panic sufferers. So my recommendation is to take it slow. It sounds like common advice, but you'd be surprised how many, you know, anxiety sufferers feel pressured and stressed when they got on that highway that, you know, they have to be in the left lane or the middle lane or, you know, going at a certain speed. The fact is you can get out of your comfort zone using baby steps without pushing yourself too far. So when you get on the highway, don't be afraid to just stay in the right lane. You know, go the speed limit. If you need to go a little slower than the speed limit, that's fine. If you're in the right lane, you're not inhibiting other drivers from passing you, so don't feel self-conscious about your speed. And I don't want you to stop here. You know, a lot of people take tips on anxiety. They say, oh, you know, that's great. They think about it for an hour, and then they just kind of forget and, uh, you know, fall back into their old ways. So I don't want you to stop here. It's really easy to learn a few tips, uh, you know, casually practice them, pretend your anxiety is gone for good. The truth is, Long-term success is determined by your persistence to continuously learn new ways to treat your driving anxiety and adapt to new fears that may arise. And there's no better place to start than at StopAnxietyPanicAttack.com. It's my website, and I've put an anxiety-free tactics video right on the website for you. It's a completely free video. It's uh, about an hour long, and it has over 21 step-by-step -step anxiety tactics that you can start implementing as soon as you finish watching the video. Uh, like I said, it's totally free. Uh, you can start benefiting in minutes from the video, and uh, you should really take advantage of it. So don't let your anxiety hold you back any longer from driving. Take action today. That's it for today, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.